On today's video, I'm going to go over simplex and repeater radio systems. The basic principle is simplex is a point-to-point -point or a line of sight. The other option for two-way radios is repeater-based. This means that one radio, either in a vehicle or a handheld, sends a transmission and first goes through another radio that is specifically designed to receive this lower power transmission and amplifies it usually from a higher elevation. Once this transmission is received from the transmitting radio handheld or portable and received from the specific radio, the repeater, at a higher elevation, usually on top of buildings or on a hillside or mountainside, it is then retransmitted with a higher power or sometimes if not a higher power, at least a higher elevation. Simplex radios can also be very useful if you have a power outage or if you and your family are gonna go out and do work on a large property. This allow that's not gonna be consistent where you don't need, where it's not practical to have a repeater. This way it's, a, it's the radio option you think of when you take two radios from REI or Walmart, open the package, put in some batteries and go talk. Two-way radios can be in two basic forms, handheld and mobile. Handheld radios can range from as low as a quarter watt up to five watts. There are handhelds that can be more powerful, but the quarter watt to five watts is the most common in the civilian or commercial market. Mobile radios can range from as low as five watts up to 50 watts. And same as handhelds, you can have more power or less power, but those are the typical ranges. Repeaters are typically fixed in place, but can also be attached in vehicles. Most emergency agencies in large cities or large counties have vehicles that are set up as mobile repeaters for disasters. Repeaters are best illustrated when you think of two people on both sides of a mountain. So if you take this and you pretend this is a mountain and you have someone on either side, and they're wanting to talk to each other with a powerful radio as much as you can think of. The radio waves, for the most part, I and mean, obviously there are circumstances, for the most part are gonna hit this mountain on both sides. However, if you take another radio, even if it's not a very high power radio, but it's able to see both sides, then that person transmitting can then send their um, radio waves up to this repeater and this repeater will take it and then if uh, well simplistically it'll take it and then it'll repeat it back to the other side and then the person on this side of the mountain can hear and now you have a way for two people to talk and this is a way that um, a lot of these radio communications work is you put these points in between where you typically would not be able to reach. Like with your cell phone at a quarter watt, clearly you can't talk, you know, across the Grand Canyon, for example. But if you put some cell towers out all of a sudden that are shooting microwave to each other, then all of a sudden you can talk a lot further than you could. There are several types of repeaters. I'm gonna cover three basic ones for this video. There are the conventional repeaters, mesh, and satellite repeaters. Conventional radios use UHF and VHF and can be analog or digital. And I know there are going to be someone in the comments that says, that say, to a degree, all of these are UHF and VHF. I understand that. I'm just saying in the, in the basic form for uh, conversation, the conventional repeater is UHF or VHF and can be analog or digital. The next type of repeater are mesh radios. These work where every unit is a repeater itself. So if you have a Google Wi-Fi for your home or an Eero, Aero, um, if you have a Gotenna mesh, similar systems like that, Pathmaker radios from General Dynamics, each one of these items, the more you add to it, the further it grows. So like Google Wi-Fi, the more you add to the system, the further the system can go. Same thing with Gotenna mesh. Obviously there are software, software limitations, but uh, the principle is the more you add to it, the further you can go. There are a few versions of satellite repeaters that I wanna go over. There are conventional analog repeaters. These are on the, I believe, International Space Station. There are definitely some on research satellites or university satellites that are used with the global amateur radio network or ham radio. There's also a new option in recent years, very past few years, 
It's Iridium based. Iridium is a global satellite constellation network that envelops the whole planet, pole to pole, all the way around, and it, it keeps moving and uh, it allows you to have communication anywhere on Earth, anywhere at all. As long as you have sight to the sky, you can have communication. You can have data, you can have text, you can have talk, or well, voice, text, and data. And there's a collaboration between ICOM and Iridium, and they made something that is just a uh, handheld radio that is an Iridium radio. And Basically, it lets you key up a radio, and once the background is done and your maps are put in and your polygons and all that kind of stuff, you can use that and communicate uh, near real time anywhere on the planet and just by keying it up. And that way you can have talk groups like other kind of radio networks where uh, you key it up and everyone listens just, just like basically a, a two-way radio that you'd think of. There's another option from Iridium that is not the ICOM collaboration. It is an Iridium handset and it is uh, almost identical to the 9575, the Iridium Extreme. The only difference is it has a button on the side, a PTT button push to talk. And this is a similar principle. It allows you to have push to talk globally so you can press a button and talk anywhere and it's satellite based again just like the icon meridium collaboration and that way i can be in texas someone else can be in norway someone else can be in um, the north pole and we can have a talk group and be able to have a conversation going back and forth. Another reason, because someone might say, why on earth would I need that if this channel is based on uh, large family, small business emergency preparedness? If you're a large family and you are in a position where you have children that are going to school in Europe, another child that's going to school in Toronto, another child that's going to school in uh, Los Angeles, and you live in Utah, and all of a sudden some catastrophic disaster happens, you know, where, where it's a true global grid down kind of thing, you know, like a major hacking solar flare, that kind of thing. This is an option where your little network, you can go and you can key up a radio, and then once you key that up, or phone radio basically, you can key it up and then everyone can talk to each other just like you would think of for a two-way radio. I hope this video on simplex and repeaters, a very condensed version has been helpful. The next video will be FRS and GMRS focused. Thank you for watching.